Hi everybody, my name is Lucia and today is a very special video because we're doing a plant tour again, finally. I think the last one that I did was almost two years ago. So yeah, let's get to it. Welcome to the entrance of our apartment. The reason why I wanted to start here is two, two reasons. First, this, this is the entrance of the apartment. And second, it has been a space for me to experiment a little more with my plants because as you can see, we don't have any windows here. So we only have this door here that goes to the living room with a south facing window. But the sunlight doesn't get all the way here. So I have some plants here and I wanted to experiment with light and the light that I provide for them. So as you can see here, we have a big grow light. This is the Plant Spectrum 32 grow light. And these plants, I can tell you, are very happy with lots of sunlight. So I wanted to see how they would do in this space. Over here, we have a serrano pepper plant. And this was a gift uh, to us from our friend. She's actually growing them from the seed, which I think is really cool. So we have a baby plant here. And as you can see, we also have a new leaf coming out in the center. So I really hope that we can actually take care of it and get some peppers from it. That would be really cool. Then, as I told you, we have many plants here that get lots of sunlight in the wild. And this one is no exception. This is the Platycerium. But I'm still trying to experiment how much light exactly it needs. Because as you can see here, this leaf actually got burnt when I had it under another very intense grow light. So I'm trying to give it less light, still lots of light, but not so much. And I think it's getting better because this, for example, is a new leaf. And as you can see, it's a very healthy new leaf. So I really hope that it's going to be doing better here. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> and this one is a croton plant. Now, I can tell you the experience that I had is that at some point it almost died on us. So I had to uh, cut all of the leaves and I even cut the stem here. So I thought, OK, I'm going to cut everything and see how it does. And then I repotted on this in this pot. So now with lots of light, I started uh, giving it light that is blue light for foliage growth. And now I have many new leaves, which is really exciting. Over here, this little dot here is another leaf that is coming out. So I'm very excited about that. I think it's doing better. So we'll see how it goes with this one. This is a Calathea and it was given to us like this by a friend of ours. This I think is the medallion and she was like, you know what, I've tried everything and it just doesn't heal. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna try it out. I can tell you my Calathea, the medallion one, actually also died on me. But then I also have a Rufibarba that I'm gonna show you later. And it's, good, it's doing well. So I thought that maybe I can try again with this one. The exciting thing is that we have two new leaves coming out. We have this one right here. And then over here, there is another one. I don't know if you can see, but it's a very green one, a very green leaf coming out. So my plan is to repot it and then maybe just see how it does. But yeah, we'll see and I'll let you know. Again, here we have a platycerium and this one is also doing very well with this light. I'm going to show you why I know this. This keep grow keeps growing in the center for this plant. This is a, the stackhorn fern. And then from this one, actually the fronds come out. So they usually grow these ones very green and then they start browning and then you get a new one that is going to be bigger. So this is a new one that I have on this side. And also we have another new one growing on this side and it seems to be really, really healthy. So I'm very excited to see how this one grows in the spring. Here is a new one. So this is going to be a new leaf. And they actually come out of these little dots here, which is also very interesting and it's very beautiful. So I'm very excited about that one. And finally, we arrived to our Chef Flera. This is a very special plant because our landlord gave it to us. So this plant was actually in this apartment before we even moved here, which is, I think, really special. But I've had a lot of experiences with them, with it. So I had to cut the leaves actually last year in the sum, in the winter because it was losing a lot of them. So all of these leaves are actually from this year. And I can tell you, I think they are from the last two months. So it's really nice to see her grow. And stay tuned because in the other part of the video, I'm going to show you the other cutting that we made from this one that is also growing. So yeah, let's get to the living room. So we're going to start 
with the living room right here. This is where we read and we watch movies and all of these things. And it's also full of plants, which I'm very happy about. So let me show you here. Some of them are actually cuttings. For example, this one right here is actually a cutting of, our, of the mother that we have right now, the mother African milk tree. And it is just growing right now. One thing that I wanted to tell you is that here we actually have a grow light and this grow light I usually put it into the blue light because a lot of these plants are foliage they're like green grows and the blue light really helps them to grow so that's why in the night especially in the winter I actually put these grow lights like that. Here we have a mini Haworthia plant and I'm so happy that it's doing so well. In the center is where we can see the new leaves so I'm very happy that I can see that the blue light is helping it grow and thrive because we're just getting out of the winter. I think after in the spring I'm not going to need this light, but for now I know that it's thriving with that one. Then over here we have a very famous plant in this channel which is the Dracaena right here. And this is because many of you guys have asked me about for example here the brown tips on the leaves this usually happens for many reasons but this one seems to be doing really well and as you can see again here we have new leaves in the center so i always like to find where the new leaves are going to come from and then check for them because it's really fun some plants uh, just grow leaves on the on the side some plants in the center like this one this one so yeah it's really interesting over here we have a succulent and i can tell you we have a south facing window in this room but this succulent is very far from the window so it doesn't get so much sunlight because really it does make a difference how close to the window the plant is so again i have it here with this light so i make sure that it actually gets the sunlight well the light that it needs because this is not sunlight but the light that it needs to grow this one is a potos and this is a silver potos and as you can see it's also growing a lot i actually separated these two they were together so it was one and the one over there as well and one thing that you can see is that the leaves are actually growing towards the light because as you can see here we have two grow lights here and it's just so interesting how they grow towards the light i think at some point i'm just gonna turn them a little bit so then they grow a little bit more balanced and continuing with the photos team, we have a golden photos here, which is the queen of this house. We have done so many propagations with this one because it's so easy to propagate. So if you want to share a plant with your friends, I would recommend this one. It's very easy to propagate. So yeah, this one was really small. It was a small cutting and now we have many leaves growing, which is really, really nice. And another thing that I love about it is that it's a trailing plant. So it actually falls. You can also put it like on top of like just to climb as well. But I like to see them fall like this. I think it's really beautiful. And another thing that I love about this plant is that it has some variegation like in here, or for example, this one right here. It almost shines, it's really beautiful. This will also depend on the light that you give her. So for example, this one, as, as I said, is not so close to the window. So it gets the light that she needs to grow, but not so much light for a lot of variegation. So maybe later I will move it but even like that just green is really beautiful so yeah this one is a very nice plant and i love it over here i moved this succulent right here i don't know the name for this one so if you know please let me know in the comments because i still don't know the name um i can tell you that they are good with succulent care so i don't water it so often and yeah, you just want the soil to be really, really dry before you water again. That's like rule number one with succulents. And I think this one is doing well right here. I mean, maybe closer to the window will be better, but actually right now I can see that she's doing fine. And another succulent right here, this is the bunny ears cactus. Sometimes I move this one closer to the window as well, for example, in the winter, but now that we're getting more light, I'm just gonna leave it here and see how it goes. And now we got to a very interesting one. This is the bird's nest fern. And I've had this plant for a while now. I can tell you it's super resilient. I really love it. And one thing that I love again is how the new leaves come out. They're actually in the center right here. And they actually just roll up. So yeah, it's really cute. It's just like these little things here. All of these are gonna be new leaves and I'm so excited to see them grow. 
Here we have an aloe vera and it's so beautiful because first it was another gift of a friend of ours, from a friend of ours. So we always, every time that we see it, it reminds us of her. She's really nice. And you know, I've learned so much from her because before I thought that she would be very happy in front of a window and she is very happy there. But also here actually, it's, it's not so much close to the window and it's still very happy. As you can see, we also have new growths. So all of these small ones here are new growths from the same mother plant, which is, I think, very beautiful. And then over here we have the Calathea mosaica, and I love it for two reasons. First, look at the leaves. Just like every Calathea, the leaves are so beautiful. It looks like mosaics. I think that's why it is called like that. Being a Calathea, I think this plant is very easy to care for. Bright indirect light is gonna be really good for this plant, and it grows really quickly. And now let me take you to my favorite space in this whole apartment, which is this dining room right here and this is because we have so many plants so it's like a little mini jungle in the apartment which is really nice so I'm gonna show you my favorite plants here the first one of course is this uh, golden potos right here and one thing that I wanted to show you is the leaves because as you can see we have so much variegation here this is because this plant is very close to the south facing window so as you can see the, the window is right here so it gets way more light here than the one that we have over there and i think that's why it gets more variegation the second one that i wanted to show you is this one here this is the enjoy potos and i love the leaves of this one because it looks like watercolors almost so you have different tones of green and then some beige on the leaves which is really beautiful. This is also a very good plant for beginners because I think it's very resilient and it, it actually adapts really well to different conditions. So I think this one is really good for beginners for sure. And here we have the Pailea peperomiores. This is actually a propagation of a bigger mother plant in the kitchen. But I wanted to show you two things. First, that it is actively growing. So as you can see, we have new leaves here, also over here. We also have yellow leaves and yellow and brown leaves. And this can be possibly caused by a lack of nitrogen, which is a very good sign that my plant needs fertilizer. Now, this is really great because if you think about it, spring is just around the corner. So I was still going to fertilize my plant, but I can still observe her and see if there are any signs of possibility of like, okay, this is a good time to fertilize her. And it's really great. That's why I always recommend to you that always observe your plants, always be present with them because they're really communicating with us and then we can actually understand them better. So it's really cool that now I know that because of this, because of this and the new leaves, now I know that it may be a good time to fertilize my plant and I'm gonna do so, so she'll be happier and more healthy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go up here because we have some plants at the top and I'm very short. <laughs> so let me show you. This one right here is an asparagus fern, so I'm gonna take it down. I'm very happy because I used to have it a little bit farther away from the window and it was not growing so well, but now we have new growth here, which is really great. And I think it's gonna enjoy being a little bit closer to the window. I have another one actually right here. And then this one is just right in front of the south facing window. And as you can see, it is thriving there. That's why I decided to bring this one a little bit closer and we'll see how it does. I think it's gonna be better now this spring, closer to the window. Over here, we have a Senecio. And one thing that I find really interesting about this one is that it has powder on the leaves. So as you can see, all of this it's kind of like a white powder right there, see? That actually acts as a screen, sorry, sunscreen. <laughs> so this plant can actually be right in front of a south facing window and it's gonna be okay. They love to have bright sunlight. Right now I have it over here, so it's really close to the south facing window. But yeah, so I thought that that was really interesting and I wanted to share with you. This is actually a propagation of the mother that we have, the African milk tree that I'm gonna show you in some, in some moments. But I actually made a video about this one. It's actually when I made this cutting, which was really nice. And uh, it was very small when I did it. So if you would like to check that video out, I'm gonna put it right here. But uh, yeah, as you can see now, the leaves are really big on this one. So it's growing really well. So this one is gonna like bright sunlight. We just don't wanna put so much direct sunlight, like so many hours of direct sunlight because it may burn the leaves. But as you can see now, she is very happy. And then at the end here, we have another Senecio. This is actually the same one as this one. I just divided one plant and now we have two of them here. 
And I can tell you that is really cool because then you can actually grow the collection that you have in your home, but you don't have to buy another plant. You can just propagate your plants. And it's a more sustainable way to bring in more plants to your home. And I don't know, it's just really fun to do. So I recommend that you do that too at home. arrived to our first south facing window. I really wanted to get here because I really like the plants that are here. They're really thriving. So I'm going to show you. First here we have a set set plant. The set set plant is very good because it's very adaptable. So I, I think that this is one of the best ones for beginners. Uh, this one is doing really well here in front of the south facing window, but they can also do well in other conditions that have lo lower levels of sunlight. So I'm gonna see and I'm gonna check also in the spring and the summer when we get way more sunlight because if I see that the leaves are starting to burn then I can move it a little bit farther away from the window and it should be okay. Over here we have a succulent. I still don't know exactly what kind of succulent this is but it's growing really well right in front of a south facing window. If you know the name, please comment below. But yeah, I think this one has a little bit of that powder as well as the others in Nessio, as you can see here. So this is a good sign that they like lots of sunlight because they're prepared even with their own sunscreen. Over here, I of course placed my mellow cactus. This is because this one of course loves lots of sunlight. So I like to put it right in front of the south facing window and I think now that we are having spring and summer we're gonna have way more light. So I'm gonna check how it does with the light. I think it should be fine with lots of bright sunlight and yeah I'll keep you updated on this one as well. The next plant that I want to show you I'm very excited about. This is actually an euphorbia and I, I want to tell you why because it's so cool. First as you can see it has new growth all the way here also on the other side right here. And this is because I moved this one right in front of the window because they love lots of sunlight and I used to have it really far away. So now it's doing better. Another thing that we can see here is a, is a variegation a little bit here. So we have some white here. This is also because it's getting the right amount of sunlight. It used to be really green and now it's getting some other colors which is really exciting. And yeah, I love this plant. It looks like a mermaid's tail or something like that. It's a beautiful plant. And we have arrived to the queen of the window right here, which is this asparagus fern. As you can see, it's growing like crazy. This is all new growth from the last month, I think. These are all new leaves also here. This one seems to be really happy right in front of the window. One thing that I can tell you is that I have it in a terracotta pot, as you can see. And terracotta is very porous, so I have to make sure that the soil keeps moist because if it was in plastic the soil would be moist for longer periods of time. With terracotta it tends to dry more quickly so then I have to check the soil more often just to make sure. But I have also noticed that since I repotted in terracotta it is also doing better as long as I keep up with the watering and this is because I think terracotta also lets the oxygen come in and out so it's, it's actually healthier for my plant. Now this one right here is the mother of the two other African milk trees that I showed you in this video. This is how everything started. So as you can see it's a really big one. This one was also a gift from a friend of ours so every time that we see it we <laughs> think of her. And this one is also really happy in front of the south facing window. Now I have to be careful and really check the leaves and observe the plant because I think in the summer in front of the window may be too much sunlight for her and it may burn the leaves. But for now she's doing really well so I'm going to leave it here until I see that maybe there's a problem so then I'm going to move her a little bit farther away from the window. But yeah it's thriving here right now. And now we're at the dining table and we have two plants here. This one is really special because it's actually the daughter of the first aloe that I showed you in the living room. And it was really small so now it's actually growing, it's really nice. And as you can see here, it has new growth here too. So this one is also ready for fertilizer. Over here, we have a peace lily and it flowered. So this one actually flowered in February and it's actually growing really nicely. Now this one right here, as you can see, it has some brown tips on the petal, like on the flower here. 
And I think this was because it was getting a lot of direct sunlight for long periods of time. So that's why now I'm very happy that we have this bamboo uh, blinds because we can just adjust the sunlight whenever we feel that it's a lot of sunlight for the plants. We just close it a little bit and it still gets some light the room but not as direct and intense as if the blind was not there. Before we leave this room I wanted to show you this beautiful plant right here because it's another peace lily and this one comes actually from the same one that we have in the dining room so we actually divided that plant and we made two plants and as you can see it also has a flower which is really nice this one also grew in February I think which is really cool. Also over here we have another new leaf, so this is new growth from this week, I think, which is a very good sign that this plant is ready to be fertilized. And you know, it's really cool because I'm finding all of these signs for the, for the plants that are ready for fertilizer, and it's so nice to find them with you. So we have arrived to the kitchen and again we have a south facing window here so I'm going to show you some of the plants that we have in front of this window. First I wanted to show you this one, this is the cheflera that I actually cut from the beginning of the video so this is the other part and as you can see it's already growing some new leaves here, this one and this one, hopefully this one is going to be a new one as well. So and here I just try to keep the soil moist at all times because again this is a terracotta pot so I have to check more often. Over here we have a succulent plant. I think it's kind of a jade plant or something like this but if you know please let me know in the comments. I actually take care of it as, a, as I would a succulent so I always check the soil make sure that it dries out completely and then I water again and I think she is very happy right in front of the south facing window so yeah that's really good. You can see it has many new leaves here also here and here so it's really nice to see her grow and thrive. Right beside her we have this pony ears cactus which is also really great for a south facing window. They love really direct sunlight and this one is doing really well here so I'm just gonna leave it there. I also have some pileas here and again so much new growth. We have a new leaf over here. This one is also a propagation from the mother plant which is right here. This is the mother pilea that I have and as you can see it also has many pops here. So one here this can be propagated. Over here as well another can be propagated and I have many pops here. That's really exciting I think I'm gonna have to propagate more of these in the spring. And as you can see the leaves actually turn towards the sunlight. So I try to move it or rotate it every week or so so it grows more balanced and more upward. And here we are at our propagation wall and I can tell you these plants have been in water for a long time so I think this spring I'm gonna pot them in soil but I still wanted to show you because they're really nice and they're thriving here. For example this one right here this is the Tradescantia Sebrina and I love the leaves as you can see the, okay the colors are super vibrant which I love but also the texture of the leaf as you can see the colors also change so at the edge you have a more a darker brown and then it becomes pink in the middle and then darker again which is really beautiful. Over here we have another propagation from our Enjoy Potos from the living room and it's doing really well but I'm still gonna put it in soil so it can grow a little bit more. Then over here we have the spider plant and has, it has already lots of roots in the bottom here. So it is also ready to be propagated. Over here we have our golden potos and again look at all the roots here. <laughs> so it's ready to go into soil for sure. And I think once we put it in soil it's gonna grow way more. Then we have the habortia right here. This was actually a gift from Jan's mom. And yeah, it has many roots. So I'm really looking forward to putting it into soil. Here we have another Tradescantia. This is the Tradescantia Sila Montana and it's beautiful. As you can see it has these white hairs on the leaves and I can tell you guys with the sunlight they shine so nicely. I think this plant is really beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna put it as well. And over here we have the San Severa, which was another gift from Jan's mom. This one has lots of roots. And also lots of new growth here as you can see even under the water. 
So yeah, I think I may leave this one here, but we'll see because we can also just pot it and see how it grows. I think that's gonna be really fun as well. So I'll let you know guys. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. So over here, I wanted to show you since the beginning, is our Monstera. You may know her because we've had her from a long time ago. I think even two, two years or something like this. So she's growing like crazy. We have so many leaves here. The colors are super nice. I can tell you so many strips actually attacked her, which was really, really <laughs> difficult to get rid of. But finally, I think she's getting better. And I can show you right here. It actually has a new leaf right there. <laughs> here I can show you some of the damage from the strips. So when you have strips in your Monstera, you can see maybe some brown edges or yellow and then brown, not only on the edges, sometimes you can even see it right in, in the middle. For example, here, this was broken because of the strips. Thankfully they're gone and now she's okay. But yeah, it can be very, very dangerous for them. And this is my desk. So I usually edit the videos for you guys here. Here is a Monstera right beside me. And then on this side, I have another one that is very important to me. This is the Calathea Rufibarba. And I can tell you, it almost died on me twice. But finally, I think I figured it out. So now she's thriving and I can show you here. For example, we have a new leaf right here, which is really exciting. Another thing that I love about this plant is the colors. So I'm gonna show you, for example, here you can see that the color on the top is a very deep dark green. And then on the other side, we have purple, which is really beautiful. I also wish that you were here because when you touch these leaves, they feel like velvet, they're very soft and really nice to touch. So I wish you were here so you could feel it with me. Then over here we have the Tradescantia Silamontana. And as I showed you in the propagation wall, it has some white hairs on the leaves, so the leaves are also very soft to the touch. They're very beautiful. And you know, it's actually really nice to have two plants that are very soft and nice to touch in a place that can be sometimes stressful, you know, when you're working. And these plants really help me just come back to the present moment. So I'm very grateful for these two. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for being here with me in this tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any of the plants here, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know which plants you have and how they're doing. Also, if you would like to support the work that I do here and this community, we do have a Patreon page. So if you would like to check it out, make sure to check out this link right here. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, adios.